just thought I'd go with Tedesco there. Hard to split them. Him and Anthony Minocello were neck and neck. I couldn't split them. Tim Brasher was close to it. Tim Brasher always played really well at origin level. Eric Rose senior picks himself. He was just so damaging. And in an era where they didn't really do much scientific weights and stuff like that, he would have been incredible. Jared Hayne played in a, in a period where Queensland was so dominant and he was still the best player on the field on both, both teams. So some of the things he did in those series was just unbelievable. And when they won the series, it was on the back of him. The, the one time out of, what, 12 seasons, he was just an incredible player. It was a tough one because I wanted to pick Freddie at 5'8", but I went for combinations with Ricky and, and Laurie. Um, Freddie, the ultimate competitor, you could play him anywhere on the field. He played lock, played 5'8", played centres, and always competed, always was one of the best players. And Mark Gasney adds that X factor, his footwork and speed, and he was so dangerous when he was on. Well, growing up, that was the year when, uh, early 1990s, when they won three in a row. It was on the back of those two players. Canberra on fire that time, they were unbeatable. And just that combination, the long passing of Ricky and the dynamic running of Laurie. Laurie scores this try where he just goes off his, might have been his left foot. Gets a long ball off of Ricky, I think it was up there. And they played with the old Queensland ball, it was like a yellow ball. And just went, footwork, 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 try. That was them two. Long pass Stewart, running game Laurie. Chief picks himself because at origin level he was such an intimidator. And Lazo is the best front rower I've ever seen. So he just picks himself too. I got to play early on, I played hooker in between those two. And Lazo taught me so much about ruck defence, about you know, some technical stuff. Not only was he a great player, he was incredibly smart. Well, I was tossing up Benny also. But I had to put my great mate Benzie in. I don't know what year it was. It might have been the first game at Suncorp. Kicked off and the ball bounces. And Shane Webke gets it after it bounces. And as he looks up, Benzie just launches at it. And it set the tone for the whole series. And I think we, we won the series pretty well. Won that game pretty well, the opening of Suncorp. But I thought it was all set up by that first play by Benzie. Zero. Um, my New South Wales finest in the back row, always aimed up. And Ben Kennedy's my favourite player to play with. He was just so intimidating, ran great lines, um, and everyone loved playing with him. And he stood up to some of, well, to a lot of the Queensland big boys, stood up to Gordon and Webke, Sivan Siva. Great player in, in any era. One of the greatest. One of the greatest. Well, I've picked Gal, I've picked Gal on the bench. Um, well, I couldn't put him into the front row in front of Chief and Lazar, but he also played in that period of Queensland's total dominance, but I thought his leadership and the way he ripped in, and also the way he stood up for the Queenslanders, that's what we're all about in New South Wales. No one hates Queensland more than Blocker, and you know, growing up, when it was you know, catch and kill out there, Blocker was the one killing. He was catching and killing. Beaver's a perfect bench player because he can play any position, probably other than front row, he wouldn't doesn't do many hit-ups either, but you get playing in the wing, centre, 5'8", playing the full back. fullback. In the back row, where he's most dangerous, he's the most versatile guy on the bench. Well, he's the best, probably, Jersey 14 player ever, because in um, unison with Danny Vadiris, Bedsy would do all the hard work, and, and then Wingy would come on and we'd just totally change our game plan around him with his speed. One thing about Wingy, no one talks about his toughness because he's such a handsome devil, but he was so tough and he competed on every play. And without doubt, you know, the best number 14 I think the game's ever seen. Taught me so much about footy, taught me so much about um, big match um, mentality going into big games and he was the perfect coach for that six week period to get everyone in tune and everyone travelling in the one direction. He was a genius at it. He hits it, he's yeah! got it!